passport. Check. Tickets. Check. Toothbrush. Check. Oh, Frankie, have you got any of them little batteries that go in the remote control? Yeah, what do you want them for, babe? For my electric toothbrush. It's not oscillating right. You what? Not oscillating? The kids these days arc at him. So lazy, can't even be bothered to clean their own choppers. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned manual toothbrush? Try the cupboard in the corner. The electric toothbrush gives you a better clean. It's more thorough. Says who? Nine out of ten dentists. You've made that up. I have not. Try it. I'll buy you one. My treat. No, thanks, son. Keep your money. You'll learn one day that the old ways sometimes work the best. Isn't that right, Frank? He's old, but he still works. Can I have these, then? Of course you can. Cheers. See, you think you're so flash, don't you, with your newfangled inventions, but what happens if the batteries run out? See, your teeth will drop out while my smile keeps on shining. Do you want to borrow my inflatable travel pillow? I'm only going to Glasgow, Frank. It's chilly Jocko land. The flight is half an hour. Don't worry about me. Worry about Glamour Boy and his teeth, cos he's got to take hundredweight of Dutch Army knickers across the North Sea. You will be careful. Of course I will. Oh, babe, yeah. But don't fret, babe, cos we will be well prepared. Dib, dib, dib and dob, dob, dob. I can't believe both my men are going away at the same time. I'm going to feel proper abandoned. Well, went yourself some chick flicks. And there's a case of Chardonnay in a wine cellar. Oh, you think I'm staying in? I'm going out on the town, mate. Yeah, maybe me and Leanne can go out together, check out the talent. <clears throat> and Keith's pig might fly. You'd better bring me back a present. What do you want? A bunch of tulips or a pair of clogs? It's a business trip, babe, not shopping. I'll be lucky if I see daylight. You bring me back something nice or don't bother coming back at all. Yeah. I promise. Mm. <sighs> you look terrible. I feel terrible. And we Bob Geld off. What? You want to cancel Third World Day and make poverty history? I don't like Mondays. Yeah? Well, try not getting plastered on Sundays, then. Come to bingo with me. No, I don't want to come to bingo. It's fun. You might win. I am not going to bingo. Well, we could still spend some time together, couldn't we, me and you, make a night of it? No time. We could stay in if you like. Get a vid. Big family pack of crisps. Each. Janice, read me lips. I said no. Don't you want to spend any time with me? No, not really. Why? Thought lover boy were away in Holland. Yeah, yes, it's just I've got other plans, that's all. You are seeing that rat. Janice, do you know what, you dirty little liars. You both promised me that it were all over. It is. We're just saying goodbye. <laughs> well, it's the first time I've ever heard it called that before. Janice, don't look at me like that. You told me that Jamie was the only one for you. Yeah, he is. It's just me and Danny want to wend it properly, in style. You want to get caught? No, we don't. We won't get caught. It's all planned. Jamie will be in Holland and Danny's told Frankie he's got a conference in Glasgow. So we have one last night together, then that's it. Just come to bingo. Oh, Janice, keep out of it, will you? I know what I'm doing. We have one last night together and then that's it. Forever. <sighs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh, yeah. Will you talk to her? Is there any subject you want me to talk about? Creepy Phil Foot Fiddler. Mm. I'm just saying maybe I overreacted. I mean, I didn't give him a chance to put his side of the story. What story, Mum? He took advantage of you. He took advantage of both of us. I know, but well, I... Well, you've got to be very careful nowadays. There's some real nutters about. He's not a nutter. Is it so wrong to give someone a chance to explain their actions? I've never liked him. See? Do I have to consult you two every time I meet somebody new? Well, you'd do better if you did. I don't pass judgement on your friends. Oh, Mum, you pass judgement on every boyfriend I've ever had. Yeah, it's true, you do. Yeah, well, it's what parents do. It's in the job description. Whose side are you on? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Oh, well, shall we change the subject, then? Shall we? Shall we talk about your new girlfriend? Uh, Robin, is it? Hey, uh, David, fancy doing something this weekend? Yeah, great, what? I don't know. Anything you like? Yeah. Coward. And you, you better stay away from that Phil. Right. She loves you, you know. I don't want to talk about it. OK. And how about you? How are you feeling today? I'm all right. Why? That's just you two lost out on love, didn't you? We filled the footman. Well, thanks for reminding me. I don't want to talk about it either. You shouldn't bottle up your feelings, you know. I have the power to heal. Shut it, Sean. You don't know what it's like. You don't know how we're feeling. 
Oh, behave yourself, Jason Grimshaw. My heart's been broken that many times it's held together with bits of old string and chewing gum. Me and tragedy are busy mates. Me and stupidity and all. Yeah, well, you're being stupid right now, and if you're not careful, you'll get a thick lip. You want her back? I know you do. You don't know what I want, Sean. I beg to differ. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Eileen, time to go to work. I've not finished my toast. I think four slices is quite enough. Come on, get your coat, we're off. Hey, Jason, you stay there. Look who it is! I, I took these CDs by accident yesterday and I know that you really like them. You set this up. Well, somebody had to do something. Come on, Eileen, we're off. No, I'm off. And if you were straight, I'd dump you on. Am I supposed to be offended by that? I think you should just be grateful. Right, don't panic. I'll sort it. I'll talk to Jason. You stay here. Jason! Jason! Come on, love, come and sit down. I've got tea and pop. Can uh, better get do as you told and come and sit down. Hey, look at us, eh? Two losers in love. <laughs> Why are things not going so well between you and Phil? Oh, I managed to put the kibosh on that one. <laughs> what did you do? Kiss his boss? Not exactly. Hey, give him time. Jason's a dinosaur. You can talk common sense to him all day, but it'll just take a week for the message to get through. <laughs> I don't mind waiting. Oh, well, good. Have some toast. It helps to eat. <laughs> You never know. Things might still work out for you and Phil. They might. You're right. You never know. You checked the van for legal immigrants? <laughs> I had to kick out a family of mice. They wanted to start a new life in a windmill in old Amsterdam. Right. This is a special delivery, son. Don't screw it up, OK? I'll be fine. In fact, I've got ages. I was hoping we could have a chat, you and me. Chat? What do you want to chat about? I don't know. Stuff. What stuff? Life stuff. Oh, you want to chat about life stuff? OK, I'll chat about life stuff. Life goes on in the chat. I've got a plane to catch, son. Hiya. All right. I Morning. can't let you go without saying bye. <laughs> All he got was Frankie pestering for a present. Yeah, well, we have our own ways to show we care. Oh, you're going away as well? Yeah, yeah, Glasgow. All business, no pleasure. Oh, well, you never know. <laughs> well, I better get going, eh? Wheels of industry wait for no man. Have a good time. You too. And Jamie, I'm relying on you, son. Bye. Ta la. You look fantastic. What? I'm in my work clothes. Oh, no. I'm mad you are. Yeah, we should do something special. Jamie, you got a van full of knickers to <laughs> deliver. I don't mean now, I mean when I get back. When I get back, we'll do something special. Oh, yeah, what? Well, it's my surprise. All right, I look forward to it. I love you. Yeah, me too. You take care, right? You too. See ya. See ya. What are you gonna wear? And don't say your snakeskin jacket. I'm not walking down aisle to marry a reptile. Could wear me suit. Your coat suit? Yeah. I'll tell you what you could wear. What? That tight the orange dress. The one that always gets me going. Whoa. Orange? Orange? I'm not getting wedding orange. You may have been married before, but this is my first time. I want full Monty. It's white or nothing. I don't care what you wear, my little apricot. I'll love you all the same. I'm wearing white. Some puffy, lacy and silky with wings. Wings? What do you want wings for? So I look like an angel. All right, all right. It's my big day, my dream wedding. I want to look absolutely fantastic. Of course you do, my love. But you'd have to worry too much. Because no one will be looking at you, will they? They'll all be watching the quad. Thanks for reminding me, Les. For a second there, I've managed to forget reason why we can't afford a fabulous dress. It's cos you cocked up quad compo! I'll have wings, Les Battersby. Somehow, some way, I will have Wings. Oh, you won't believe this. I've just been snubbed. Me, snubbed. Well, in a way, so have I. 
know, Phil just blanked me in the street, walked past me like I wasn't even there, like I'm invisible. Me, invisible. No, don't say anything. That man has been intimate with my feet. I mean, who's he think he is? That is rude. That is just plain rude. You know, I'm not saying that I am without blame in this situation, but at least I smiled, I said hello, and he just cut me dead. Well, I don't know what I saw with him in the first place. I really don't. Well, that's it finished as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going back there again. No, sorry. <laughs> What's the letter? Uh, George has sent us his resignation letter. George has resigned? Mm. I didn't know George could even write. Says he wants to spend more time with his family. Oh, his family, my eye. He hates his family. That's why he does the night shift. <laughs> He's been done again, hasn't he, for receiving? That'll be for six months. You know, I wish you would not get ex-cons in because they're not reliable. And now I have to find another driver. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be all right? I rang her last night and left her a message to ring me, but she hasn't. So I thought, rather than leave another voice message, I'll leave a text. Seems less desperate. Hey, she's nice. Yeah, I know she's nice. And I like her. Yeah, and <laughs> does she like you? Sure. Who wouldn't like me? Hey? <clears throat> Egg, chips and beans, table four, please. Yes, sir. Yeah. Why don't you come round to mine tonight, watch a DVD? We can bitch about each other's clothes, pull each other's hair out if you want. Um, go on. If it's drunk enough, you might even enjoy it. Oh, cheers, love. Uh, no, sorry, I don't think so. What? Too good to come round to ours, is it? Or are you worried you spend too much time with me? We might start getting up. No, it's a nice thought. It's just I'm really knackered and probably just end up having an early night. Nice thought. You're right. A few of the chip fan must be getting to me. Excuse me. You forgot your change. Oh. Excuse me. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh. I know it's only 28 pence, but right. every little helps, eh? Hey? Thanks very much. <laughs> Leanne! Leanne! What? It's Jamie's phone. I think he's been in an accident. Honestly, I'm OK. We were so worried about you when we saw the van. I think it looks worse than it is. What happened? I don't know. One minute everything's fine, next minute there's clouds of smoke everywhere. Woof! Lots cop to me. How fast where are you going? You must have been giving it some welly. Well, looks a big job from here. Come on, boys, I've got to get this delivery to Holland. Holland? Not much chance of getting this thing to Viaduct Street. You checked the oil before you set off? Yeah, I checked everything. Everything was fine. Well. It's not fine now. Look, this is an important order. If I don't get it there on time, it's going to cost Underworld big. You've got to get me back on the road. Yeah, come on, lads. If anyone can fix this thing, it's you lot. That is very true. Well, we have worked milkers in the past. Ooh, the trouble is, we're up to our eyes in work. Uh, hang on a minute. You've been saying cafe all morning. You can't be that busy. What time is your feather? Half twelve. <laughs> no no way. <laughs> well, there's another one at four. What do you reckon, boys? I reckon you better start praying. Well, you know me. I like the challenge. Yeah, go on, we'll give it a go. But no promises. Nice one, lads. I'll go see if I get booked on the later ferry. I'll make this up to you, I promise. Come on, we better get back to work. Babe, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. With a bit of luck, I'll be on the road in a few hours. My dad'll kill me if I muck this up. See ya. See ya. Poor thing, she's devastated. She looks all right to me. Putting a brave face on a broken heart. She'll not be the first and she will be the last. Never knew you had a cynical streak. Realistic, not cynical. We're none of us immune to our break. It's how we cope with it that counts. Not that you need reminding. The best thing for her is to get stuck into work. Fastest way to forget. Does it work for you? Every time. I say every time. Oh, well, you're the boss and there's plenty needs doing. You doing a grand job? Thanks. I'll do the toilets after this. No, no, no. Go and have a cup of tea and I'll sit down, Chalk. Get Beverly to put kettle on. What about the toilets? I'll do toilets. Yeah, but I... Do as you're told. Take a break. Thanks. <laughs> You've left me all on my own. I had no idea where you got to. If you could, you could have been abducted. It was an emergency. I thought Jamie had an accident. Oh, yes. Had he? Well, no. That didn't stop us worrying, eh? 
So, these on toast, table four, two coffees, table three. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So go on, you get off. What? I oh, saw the look on your face when you saw that van. Go on, go and spend a few hours with him before he sets off again. Are you serious? I'll square it, Roy. Ah, oh, brilliant, thanks. I owe you one. Uh, excuse me, where, 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 where's she got you? I'll give you a few hours off. You've done what? Well, sorry, that came out wrong. It's just, she was so upset thinking my Jamie was her. She'd have been a liability around the deep fat fryer. Could have had a nasty accident herself. I was on the 12.30. Yeah, but my van broke down, so I wanted to change it to the 4 o'clock sailing to Zeebrugge. What are you doing here? Frankie sent me. Yeah, and this is important. Yeah, I know, so is this. Uh, the van? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 1.8 metres high. <laughs> no, just cancel the 12.30 and move us on to the 4 o'clock. Yeah, no, 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 the standard crossing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, ta-da. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I ate my life. Do you want to stop? No. Well, it's not that bad then, is it? I was hoping for a bit of support. I've got support fatigue. I've used every scrap of support on Jason, Violet and myself. Do you realise I only see my daughter once a week? And if she's in a bad mood or she's poorly or she's hyperactive because her mum's giving her too many sweets and that's it. I don't see her for another seven days. Not interested, Steve. I just feel like my life's on hold, you know. I mean, the best parts are written down on the calendar once a week, and then... Well, I've got to wait, you know. Yeah, we know what they say. Good things come to those that wait. You reckon? No, I'm just saying it to stop your self-indulgent whinging. You know, you'll be coming bitter and twisted, you are. Oh, I have got something that'll cheer you up. Oh, yeah, and what? Yeah, I told Fat Harry that we needed new drivers. <laughs> this is supposed to cheer me up, is it? Look, Fat Harry knows everybody. We'll have drivers knocking on our door. At least I'm trying. <laughs> now he's bitter and twisted. It was a crack team of mechanics framed for a crime they didn't commit. Now, they work in a back street garage performing mechanical miracles every day. So if your van has gone up in smoke, and if you can find them, maybe you could hire the eighteen. Did it, did it, did it, with a spinal wheel in my bridge, mate. Hey, give over. Yeah, fool. Um, where do you think you're going? To see your mum, if she's around. She doesn't want to talk to you. Is that what you said? Well, we trusted you and you took advantage. Can I talk to her, please? I just told you, she doesn't want to talk to you. You look fantastic. Can you see me wings? Very classy. You're a bit posh, look cheap. Yeah, but it's just curtains and cardboard, isn't it? I'll never be able to afford real dress in my dreams. Well, you're right there. These cost a bomb. You'd have to rob a bank to afford one. Unless? Unless what? Unless I get a rich man to buy one for me. Isn't that supposed to be Les's job? Yeah, but he's already flunked that test. No, think about it. When I'm all dolled up, Full war paint, cleavage to stun. I can catch drinks off a bloke all night. <laughs> now, if I directed that irresistible girl power at some bloke with Dosh, I could get him to buy me a dress with wings. That is near enough daftest plan I've ever heard. You saying I've not got pulling power? No, but if it were that easy to find a rich bloke to buy a wedding dress, wouldn't you be marrying him now instead of Les? Hmm? You've spotted weakness in my plan. Don't worry, you'll have another one. You took your time. Saw your fill outside. Really? Don't look like that, he's a creep. What was he doing outside the house? I wanted to explain. Oh. Mum, he is bad news. Don't waste your time. Do you think that's him? Yes. Did you tell him I was here? I told him that you didn't want to talk to him because that's what you told me last night. Maybe he'll go away. Gail. Gil, I know you're in there. Can we talk, please? Answer phone again. Of course, her mobile could be on the blink, can it? She might turn it off because she's at work. She got the day off. She's at some charity fundraising do at Scarsdale Football Club. She might turn it off because of that, then. We'll start for two hours. She might be playing hard to get. Yeah. All right. Maybe she's not interested at all. If you'll let me explain, Gail, please. Five minutes, that's all. 
Gail! <laughs> Don't mind us, you carry on. Gail, please let me in. <laughs> if you let him in, I will never respect you again. Gail, I feel a fool talking to a letterbox. People are staring at me. Please, Gil, please let me explain. Oi! You in a rush to get away somewhere? I just want to check that the van's all right. If I don't get on the road soon, I'm going to miss the four o'clock ferry. Yeah, well, you can't go anywhere till it's fixed, can you? And Frankie said to take as long as I want, and with her doing my shift, we're not going to get interrupted, are we? Yeah, but I've got to make the delivery, Leanne. I mean, I promised my dad. <sighs> Jamie, there's more to life than delivering knickers, you know. <laughs> well, you are great, darling. I do my best. I never met a girl like you before. <laughs> as they say in the song. <laughs> well, hey, I'm being serious. Good. And I never felt like this before either. I mean, I'm not just in love with you, I'm head over heels in love with you. Yeah, me too. I'll be honest, I've been, I've been dreading this trip. Because I don't like being away from you even for one day. I miss you like crazy when you walk out of a room. What? I was going to leave this till I got back, but... Leave what? I can't wait any longer. What are you doing? <clears throat> You're mucking about? No. I've never been more serious about anything in my whole life. I've been thinking about this for ages. Don't look so nervous. It'll be all right. Jamie. Leanne Basby. Will you marry me? <laughs>